Tonight at 11, Macon Bibb County employees want the commission to vote no on a proposal that would change their health care plans. 41 NBC's Edna Ruiz was at a public forum tonight where some say they're just not having it. This proposal is unacceptable on every level, and we implore you to vote no on what I have dubbed Riker Care. Hundreds of Macon Bibb employees took their concerns to the government center. I, I'm not sure how this is affordable for everybody spread out uh, across the county employees. A number of our employees make twenty to thirty thousand dollars annually. This is not affordable to those employees in any way. The commission must make changes to the county budget to make up for a projected four million dollar deficit. So they're looking at making those changes to health care. I would like to implore you guys to table this tomorrow because this has not been given enough time for employees and retirees to digest it, to understand it, to know what question they need to ask people. Nine adjustments to health care options would save the county $1.3 million, but would cost employees to make changes on co-pays and delivery options. Please understand our employees, especially the ones who have major medical costs and have ongoing maintenance prescriptions, are working very hard to try to control those costs. More than a dozen people took the podium, all asking to explore a different option. I come in here every week from week to week, and I see money being squandered in different ways on things that can wait. But these things right here, these city people cannot wait. Thank you for your time. In Macon, Edna Ruiz. 41 NBC News. Well, the Macon Bibb County Commission will vote on passing the adjustment proposal tomorrow night in the commission chambers at 6.